All right, Cancer, here we go. I haven't done one of these for you since your June reading or so. Let's take a look at what's going on. I spend most of my morning today, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, at the Department of Motor Vehicles. That's what we call the DMV here in California. And I know anybody here in California is cringing right now as I say that because nobody like going there. Uh, I, I can't swear at government employees, but I, I, I figured why not do a cancer reading. You're the sign whether you're most likely to swear at your person. I don't know if that energy is here or not yet. We're going to find out, but if I have to, I will. So be prepared. <laughs> I'm not happy. That being said, this, <laughs> this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. It's all affecting energies right now on the soulmate cycle from your angle. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, you found it for a reason. This reading is timeless. Whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. If you're here now, welcome. Here's my pre-shuffle, my pre-read. I talk to the universe. I say, give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of cancer and all with all affecting energies in play. Everything, including that Saturn retrograde I just pulled on the other day. Here's what I got. I got a Six of Swords we open with. Somebody knows what they want to do here. They're living in choppy water, because, and they're doing it to themselves. Okay, they're doing it to themselves. They have a lot of feelings for you. Is the Six of Swords is crossed by the Seven of Swords. That is, mm, it's deception. It's a little bit, it's somebody who insists well, it's a little, bit, a little bit of what I told you with the Saturn reading the other day. It's somebody who insists, it has been insisting that you don't matter. Okay? It's a lie. It's a fucking lie. Because I've got Major Arcana Hangman right here. Alright? This is someone who's seeing things from a new perspective. Yeah, it's that energy. But I'm drawn here to the bat just with his eyes. That's all I see. And, and that's, their, their eyes are wide open. They know exactly that they, they know about this bullshit and they know what they want to do here. What I've got is the problem is this person's afraid that there's nothing here yet. This is the Three of Pentacles. This is working together. They're going to have to be honest with you, like I always tell you. They're going to have to shoot straight. They're going to have to be emotional with you. All right? It doesn't matter whether your person's a cancer or you're the cancer or they have cancer in their chart or you have cancer in your. This whole cycle is brought to you by cancer. The North Node was in cancer when this cycle began. That said, it is you are the host. It is Cancerian themed. So it's tougher for some signs it's than others, but regardless, cancer is the cardinal water sign. They're not going to accept anything that's nonsense. Okay, but you know, if you get on cancer's good side, tell them how you feel. They're very loyal. You know, and then this person knows that they have a lot of respect for you. I see six of wands. I see a card of victory. I got the butterfly of transformation here. Reaching out would bring a victory here. What I've got is there it is, our ten of wands. And that's nice because it's crossed by the five of pentacles. Okay? Um, well, I say keep an eye out for the ten of wands all through the month of June. Keep your eye out for it. It's crossed by the five of pentacles here. I hope I didn't say ten of pentacles. I don't know what I'm saying. But uh, these, I'm neutral in these readings, so sometimes Freudian slips happen. I read this as a Ten of Pentacles, believe it or not. It's a Five of Pentacles, but I, it reads energetically like a Ten. All right? This person's out, and this person, it's a lot of pressure on them. You're heavy on their mind that they're out in the cold on something that would be fantastic. And again, I got too many minor arcanas here. I got the one major arcana with the universe trying to show them, trying to snap them into place. I'm going to tell you here, we, we, when we pull this reading, I think we might see it. Uh, we talked earlier, I mentioned I was at the DMV all morning. That's dealing with cars, right? In cars, we got something called a backfire. Mm. Backfiring, now everybody knows what a backfire is when your car backfires, right? It sounds like a shotgun going off outside your house. The reason it usually happens, and there's many reasons, but what, what it boils down to usually is timing. The timing is out on the car. You adjust the timing usually, in the older cars anyway, by turning the distributor to decide when the spark comes in and when, when it, you know, so everything fires just right. That being said, we got a timing issue here in some way. This person mm, seems to feel, I feel the energy of almost like a procrastination where they think, you know, well, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen kind of a thing. And that's the little lie they tell themselves. That's, that's the lie that's built around that. And that boils down to timing. You know, that's someone trying to say, well, now is not the right time. 
or oh, this is not the right time. I don't think they can hold that energy. Not, not with the energy coming off that hangman. That bat looked pretty pissed to me. Let's see. Let's shuffle the deck here. We got a backfire happening here. It's backfiring on this person. Because I don't think they're very happy in their life. Why would you be ten wands if they were? And feel out in the cold on, on a card, a five of pentacles that reads like a ten of pentacles. It's a combo. It's fifteen pentacles. That's the energy that was coming off that card. It's very rare. I don't remember the last time that happened. I'm shuffling the deck right now. Give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of cancer. This first card out is why the fuck are we here? And it's exactly everything I just told you. It's batshit catawampus. It is the uh, Seven of Cups. That's the card before the cut. It's why we're here. Seven Cups. Somebody can't make up their mind. Somebody's procrastinating. Somebody's looking at options to come. It's timing. Right? Oh, if I go in now, it's wrong. If I go in later, it's, okay, well, no, I can't do that. This person, a little bit of an excuse machine, a little bit. They need to have their distributor turn. Somebody put a timing light on your person. Let me tell you. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut the deck here. We'll see what comes after that Seven of Cups. That'll tell us where it might be heading. It's heading, net, net, love wins the day. It's the Page of Cups. It's heading towards somebody who, the longer they do this, the longer they fuck around and, and make excuses. We'll just phrase it like that. The longer they, they fuck around, the, the harder it is, the more they're going to have to come in with the tail between their legs. There's a huge amount of love here. This page of cups is reading like a queen of cups. It's the amount of love that's attached to it. With somebody here, it gets, it gets harder and harder. The longer they wait, the harder it's going to be for them. How do they explain why they took so long? They're going to have to be honest with you. And that's tough for this person in the first place. But, you know, you can, if you're supposed to show up at somebody's house at, at 2 p.m. And you, and you dilly-dally around and you show up at 10 p.m., well, that's a lot worse than if you showed up maybe at 3 p.m. You know? At 10 p.m., you got some splaining to do. You know, where are you been? You were supposed to be here at 2 in the afternoon. I'm going to bed. It's 10 o'clock. You know, but at 3 p.m. it's a little easier, isn't it? You could just say, "Well, I got tied up in traffic," or something, right? You can't say you got tied up in traffic <laughs> when you show up at 10 o'clock, and that's kind of, you know, that's a good way to phrase this energy the way it feels. Let's find out. Let's shuffle the deck here. Let's let's get ourselves a reading. Give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of Cancer with all affecting energies. Give me a reading, universe, and it knows what I mean by that. You ready? Who do you think's at the bottom of this deck? Who have we been dealing with? What is it all about? It's all about fucking ego. It's all about somebody puffing up, trying to keep an image up. It's the king of wands. It's the Burger King energy. Got to have it their way. Of course they got to. Well, what's, what's all this I've been talking about? With this delay, well, now is not the right time. It's, it's all backfiring on them. It usually does with the king of wands when real love shows up. King of wands is fine just banging somebody in a bar parking lot. But real love, well, hmm, that's tricky. Mm -hmm. And look, what's crossing it? The Ace of Swords. Archangel Michael, Sword of Truth. They know damn well. They know, the, the, the more they delay, the more pain there is here. All right? The, the truth is here. This is also a reconciliation energy. I believe this person will show up. I do. I firmly believe that. I, I know a lot of you don't, but I do. I, I don't... I don't think they're very happy in their life, and I think you're the shining beacon of hope for this person. Let's go. Right here's the energy around the connection. Right here's how they feel in the 3D, right? The shit they're telling themselves and all that, whatever. This is your 3D person. Right here's their soul. This is how they really feel about you, or the condition of their soul, depending on how the card falls. Right here's the hidden energy with the universe wants you to know it's red with the energy of the connection. Right here's the potential final outcome. I say potential because I cannot predict free will. I can't. Uh, and I will clarify everything, throw some universe cards over the top, and you bet your sweet cancer asses there's going to be a link for an extended. It'll be in the description of this video. Because when I have a, a, a cancer reading where the king of wands is my overall energy and I'm getting all this dilly-dallying around, there's going to be something to dig for here. What's the energy around the connection? Let's get ourselves a reading. Four of pentacles. It's all holding back. Holding, but there's an energy of holding back. Think of a, a, 
an accident that happens on the road and they get a traffic cop out there and he like got his hands up hold, hold stopping cars here allowing this lane to go allowing whatever the traffic cop is stopping all four okay all four we we, we have a stop here all right someone stopped in their tracks and that makes sense i showed you that hang man i showed you that that bat that was hanging upside down and i said i'm just drawn to the eyes yeah he's just they they see everything they know this is the bat's eyes lit up okay they know what they're doing here it's ego and pride some kind of image they're trying to protect they don't want to feel weak they think if they approach you they're going to be you know in a position of weakness or they're going to look weak who cares it's, there's a lot of love here I felt Queen of Cups energy off of a page of cups the longer this person dilly dallies the longer these this cop in the middle holds all four uh, corners from going right the more the cars here are going to run out of gas because they're just sitting there running and the harder it is for them to come in the more they're going to have to suck up the ego all right all right well, let's go let's go. how do they feel and their emotions and in, in, in their emotions the king of swords mm. king of sword the king of truth they know the truth. He's holding Archangel Michael's sword of truth. It's a rainbow here. There it is. Archangel Michael. This son of a bitch knows what they want to do. Mm -hmm. um, normally, I'd say the King of Swords takes action, but this person needs to be brave on two fronts. They need to. They, they, you are a complete change in the way they've been living. All right. Mm, we're going to have to clarify that. There's a lot of energy around that card. I would love to say they feel like they can come towards you and they want to. Uh, uh, because we got this here. Something's stopping them. What's, how do they feel in the soul? Mm, the moon. See, there it is again. We can't have a cancer reading without moons and high priestesses. Whatever this is, whatever this ego is, this image, whatever it is, them feeling weak about coming towards you. Again, I reiterate. And I know some cancers disagree with me. I don't care what you agree or disagree with. I'm the one sitting here swimming in this energy. Maybe this reading isn't for you. I don't know. But I can tell you that this person has a lot of secrets. A lot of stuff that they've never taken out, unpacked, and looked at uh, in the basement of their soul. Um, it's all coming to the surface and it's scaring the bejesus out of them. It's making them freeze. All right? They, uh, that's what's happening. And they know they got to be honest with you. This is the king of truth. I can't wait to clarify that. Give me the hidden energy, universe. What's, uh, what's the universe want to tell us? Seven of wands. Yeah, it's, it's holding back. It's hiding in the shadows. Staying back. Defensiveness. They're defensive about something. It's red with the four of pentacles. So, duh. You know, like I said, the traffic cop in the middle is stopping everybody. He's not letting anybody go. It's all because of fear. But it's all, it's a little bit of a deer in the headlights here, too. Um, hmm. Okay. What's the potential final outcome? Red with the King of Swords. A hermit. It's not a card of communication when it falls there, per se. But it is a card of somebody, a, a bit like I told you in the Saturn retrograde reading. Because the Saturn retrograde energy is here. So we have to pay attention to what that means and what, that, and what's that, and what that's all about. And what it's all about here, we saw the hermit a lot in that reading. Uh, and we saw the high priestess a lot too. The hermit here is, it's red with the king of swords, it's, but it's also every, it's red with everything that's here. Because I said all the stuff that's coming up, the secrets that they keep, that they know they'll have to talk about, they're just frozen in their tracks. They're frozen in their tracks. And it's all coming up from the depths. The light's shining here. This light isn't run by oil. It's run by soul energy. It's run by information from the soul, wisdom from the soul coming up, true feelings coming up to the surface. Uh, they know what they want to do. They know what they have to do. They're making excuses not to do it because they don't want to feel or appear weak. Okay? That's, that's the easiest way I can phrase what's here. Now, we're not done yet because we're going to clarify these energies. Now, the, the clarifying cards are the action cards. These are baseline cards. Now we find out where it's going. So it's kind of an important part of the reading. This is why a lot of readers say if they get a good reading here, I almost wish I wasn't going to clarify it because it sometimes goes to shit. Sometimes does. This reading is already shit. So we can't really get much worse. It's, it's kind of a win-win. 
Uh, give me the uh, Four of Pentacles here. Look, I like. I know you, you, that you and this person have a very powerful connection. There's no doubt about it. And, and it's it, this person. I say, I tell you this all the time, and, and it's it, it, this person reminds me of somebody who is used to people fawning over them a little bit, and you don't nothing, and you don't do that per se. They have to actually be real with you. And they see that as some kind of something to be defensive about, something to hide. They actually take great comfort in hiding in the shadows. Oh, they're checking up on you. They're following along. You know, they might spy on you from time to time, might have created a fake account. I don't know. They definitely think about you a lot. I saw that in the Ten of Wands from the pre-shuffle. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles, the energy around this connection. What's this Four of Pentacles about? Again, I get an Ace of Swords. <sighs> They know what they want to do. They're just, there's some kind of timing issue. There's some kind of worry about it. It's just, they're afraid to do it. Okay, that's the easiest, okay, I'll phrase it the easiest way. They know what they want to do. They know how they feel about you. They're 100%, they have it. They want to do it. They want to reach out. They want to fix something. They want to reconcile, but they're afraid to do it. The baseline energy is fear. What's on top? King of Wands, again. King of Wands, overall energy, King of Wands falls here. It makes sense. When that happens, I know I got a tight reading here. This is tight. This is right here. This is why they're afraid. This is everything I told you. Okay, they know what they want to do. Look, I got an Ace of Swords and a King of Wands. I got a King of Wands crossed by an Ace of Swords. It's the same thing. It's the same damn message. A King of Wands crossed by an Ace of Swords. This is my crossing card over everything here. It's the affecting energy is the Ace of Swords. Again, it says the same thing. It's somebody here who feels like, who doesn't want to be vulnerable, who feels like they're, they're going to appear weak if they show up now because a lot of time has passed. Yet they want to show up. Yet they want to come in. They wish they could do it. A whole lot of wishing here and all kinds of stuff like this. Somebody needs to let the ego go. Why is the King of Wands here? And, and if you're sitting there on the other side of this screen, Going, no, 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 that's not right. This other reader said, but blah, blah, blah. I don't give a fuck what some other reader said. I don't give two shits. I have got matching the odds of this happening. I might as well go get a scratcher ticket at 7-Eleven, right? I'm going to win 20. I guarantee you I, with, with the odds that are here, I'd win 2,500 bucks on that scratcher ticket because I've got a king of wands crossed by an ace of swords. Here is our overall energy and the energy of the connection is the same damn thing rooted in fear. And it's all those fears I told you. They're afraid that if they come towards you, they're going to have to be, they're going to be up here weak. And the problem is this person is so short-sighted that they don't realize that the longer they wait, the weaker they're going to appear. Hence my analogy earlier where you're, I'm supposed to be at your house at 2 p.m. and I show up at 10 p.m. Uh, I'm in a weaker position than if I had showed up at 3 p.m. All right, you catch my drift? I hope so. Uh, King of Wands, why is it here? <laughs> the King of Pentacles. <laughs> this, that's the image they're trying to portray. Okay? That's, oh, there's two ener there's always The energy is always in layers. There's a hundred energies here. But the two main energies, King, King of Pentacles is what you always show up as in my reading. The you show up in the energy of the connection. You, 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 you got your shit together. You're the shit. Can I phrase it like that? And they don't want to appear weak next to you because they're putting out an image where they pretend they're on your level. Okay? The, in this person's mind, they, they tell themselves that you don't matter, whatever, this and that, or I can replace them. No, they can't. This is irreplaceable. This is my eight-point buck with rainbow antlers in the animal deck. You go out and find one of those. Try to find one. They know this. They know all of this. They're just letting ego and pride get in the way or some kind of image they're trying to pr protect. Your person always reads like a famous person. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry to keep harping on that, but they do. Okay? They don't want to appear weak. Somebody with a big ego. Somebody who's successful or somebody who is popular and stuff like that. They're going to have to suck it up to come in to you. The longer they wait, the more they got to suck. And the more they do suck, the longer they wait. All right, let's go. I've been waiting. Let's pull on the King of Swords. Tell me about the King of Swords here. They know what they want to do. They are well aware of what needs to happen here. I think the Hermit is telling me, because I feel a flow of energy off the Hermit. As they, as they 
as more and more comes up and they look at themselves a bit more and more and more and more of this stuff and the moon comes up in the soul the moon in the soul is dangerous that's someone who's been suppressing a lot of things a lot of pain that's someone who just looks away from it all and distracts themselves all right but how they feel about you is uh, for some of you, you might be a big secret. This person may pretend uh, to the people around them, if those people badmouth you or whatever, they may join in or something. The, your big secret in their house for a few of you, mm, a little bit, a little, their true feelings for you are anyway. I don't mean you're a secret, but anyway, that's just for some of you. King of Swords, tell me about it. What's the crossing energy here? Six of Pentacles. They know what they want to do. They want to give to this. They want to give to you. Okay? Done. Done deal. Also tells me it implies that if your person's married or in a relationship, they're done given to that. So damned if they do and damned if they don't. They got to put this ego down. They've got to. What's on top? King of Swords on top of King of Swords. Jesus Christ. The King of Swords is here because it's time. This person trying to find the right time, trying to whatever, they're just screwing around. The timing on this automobile is perfect. It's firing. It's running good. The truth is there. I got. They know the truth. They know what they want to do. Why is the King of Swords here? The Three of Cups. It's about opening up. They want to re... Uh, again... Jesus Christ. How do I explain this? This is 3D energy. This is 5D energy. In the 3D, all this person thinks about is getting together with you. Opening up to you. Now, also, there's a third energy attached to this in this context. I don't always read the Three of Cups as a third party, but there's a third energy. There's something that's coming between you two, and they don't like it. They know they need to do something about it, but they're afraid to because it, it, might, it might lower their status. It might ruin their image. Maybe they've been spending all this time. They're one of these people who spends all this time telling people that, that everything's great and, and, and they're happily married or they're happy with their life and they love their job and all that. And now they're going to have to, if, if they, in order to come toward you, they're going to have to cut all that out, which is going to, you know, make them look stupid. This person is very afraid of looking stupid or, or having their ego hurt or making the wrong choice. Telling themselves maybe they want more information first or something along those lines. It's tough energy to read, but you got to know where I'm going with it here. They've got to cut something out. They know what they want to do towards you. They've got to cut something out. They, all they want is a, is a reunion with you. They want to open up to you. But there's a lot. The energy around the connection is, is stopped because of this behavior. And because you're so awesome on some level. Maybe they think you'll reject them. It's possible. King of Wands can't have that. Uh, and that's part of the energy that's here. Why is the moon here? Let's go. Let's talk about the moon. Mm -hmm. Blame it on the moon, right? Mm, that might be the title for our extended. Blame it on the moon. Because you know I'm going to pull on that moon. I'm going to pull the shit out of it in the extended. But I'm going to pull the shit out of it right now. Why is the moon here? Tell me about the moon and their soul energy. I don't like the moon and the soul energy. Not for cancer's person. Yep, what did I say? Rewind your fucking video. What did I say? I said they've been... In the moon in the soul is always shows me, regardless of how they feel about you, always shows me somebody who looks away from shit, who suppresses past pain, looks for, forgives people who hurt them and all that without really taking it out of the box and looking at it. And yeah, it, the affecting energy of the soul right now is the three of swords. Three swords, it's a lot of pain. This person is a mess, okay? This person is a mess. If I went on, male or female, if I went on a first date with this person, I would go home and tell my friends, oh my God, man, she was fucked up. Uh, she's just talking about all kinds of this, you know. I mean, I would be able to feel this pain. I would, anybody would, not just me. If you were sitting across from this person, there's something, there's an energy here where I think for some of you, the people around them, the energies around them coddle them a bit. Maybe try to, Maybe they're the reason for this King of Wands behavior, this ego that they put up, this front that they put out. Um, maybe they o are overly complimentary, you know, patting them on the back. It, it, it reeks of a person who suffers from depression or some sort of, um, so, sort of self-worth issue. Okay, all of that is there. Sometimes friends make the mistake of trying to solve depression or a self-worth issue by just being complimentary over and over and over again. 
that doesn't solve anything. All it does is create more pain within the person. No, you need to tell them their shit and force them to take it out and look at it. All right? You need to find out the, the root of the problem, not just put a Band-Aid on it. This is someone who's had Band-Aids put on their problems for their whole damn life. I swear to God, I got a story here about this energy. And I know it isn't for all of you, but but there's something here. There's just, it's, oh, it's right on the, I can't really articulate it. What's on top? Knight of Pentacles. Yep. Until they resolve this pain, no, they just hold on to the pentacle for dear life. Afraid of the water. His knight is stopped. I have a stopped energy here. These cards are bookending these where I have a stopped energy. This person is stopped at the water. Emotion. I think what happened for a good number of you, and it, I'm just paraphrasing, all right? I'm not the amazing Kreskin, but I think from, from a psychology perspective, what happened here is this person opened up at some point, thought they were in love, maybe, thought they had a friend, maybe, and that, then they got fucked over. And unlike most people who would just take the lesson from it and learn and grow, they shut down. And that's why you cross paths. And I think I said something to that effect. That kind of energy was in the Saturn retrograde reading yesterday. I believe that's true. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Because he stopped. Yep, yeah, two of Pentacles. They're not doing anything about it. Round and around. That's okay. It, the pain just sits. The pain just sits there. Something they need to take out and deal with. The, the, the really funny part is you're the cure for that pain. This person is very, 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 very content to just push that down. The problem is it's coming up. That's what the hermit's talking about here. As it comes up in Saturn retrograde, the hermit's representing the Saturn retrograde energy. Again, the teacher is out of the room, like I said in yesterday's Saturn retro reading. This person now can either study or turn into a little asshole that causes trouble and gets everybody else in trouble. In this case, themselves in trouble. Um, we got a lot of pain here. A lot of pain in this person until they deal with it. And this is why the King of Wands, right? King of Wands, King of Wands. This is why they're worried that if they come talk to you, they don't want to feel stupid. They don't want to look vulnerable. They don't want to be appear weak. A lot of time is passed here for a lot of you, okay? Uh, this person this person was supposed to be at your house at 2 p.m. and they are showing up at 10 p.m. They got a lot of explaining to do. But in order for them to do that, they have to look at why they did that, why they were that late, why they ran here, why they claimed what they had on their side was great. I know what they had on their side, however they've been living, it's fluff. It's not real love because I see this knight in the soul holding on to a pentacle. And pentacles don't belong in the soul and I got two of them back to back. I, I was hoping for a cup card to tell me why the Knight of Cup, uh, the Knight of Pentacles is here, but I didn't get it. I got wishy washy. I got round and round. I'm not doing anything about it. It just goes round and round in them. All this pain. I'm harping on this point because this is important. It's important for you to understand. You're dealing with someone's uh, red flag date story, you know, kind of a thing like that. Those are people that didn't deal with it. And they take it out on people around them. In a nutshell, though, the reason they're not reaching out is because they don't want to appear weak. Okay, that's the paraphrase nutshell way I can phrase it to you, but it's going to apply differently because you're all dealing with a different person, I hope. Seven of Wands. Tell me what the universe has to say here. Universe, what else you want to tell these Cancerians here? What you, what you talking about, Willis, with the Seven of Wands here? Mm. I feel comfort around the Seven of Wands. I feel like somebody feel safe in the shadows. Oh well, yeah, of course they do. I just told you they're afraid if they approach you, they'll appear weak. So of course they feel safe in the shadows. It's sort of someone standing back going, well, at least I don't appear weak right now. Okay, I'm safe here. No, they're not. I don't think they're safe here. I feel a fucking tower is what I hear, uh, is what I feel. I feel a fucking tower energy coming. I'm, I'm not saying I'm going to get a tower, but I feel one. I've got the page of, uh, of wands is the affecting energy. With every fiber of this person's being, they want to they branch out on something new. They want to go on a new path. They know you're that new path. They know. All the, I got two king of truths here on top of each other. And they want a reunion with you. But they got to cut something else out first. Even if, even if they're not married, they got to cut out this behavior. This king of wands. And they know it. Mm -hmm. They know it. What's on top? Knight of swords. 
They have something they want to say. They got ants in their pants about it. As they watch you. As they see you thrive. As they see your value. However you want to phrase it. The kids say it all sorts of ways. I'll just say they got something they want to tell you. There's an ants in their pants urge to come out from uh, uh, behind the rocks. Out from the shadows. Why is the knight of swords here? Right there. That backs up everything I just said. That's the five of pentacles. They're living in winter. Okay. This is interesting. Okay. So uh, yeah. There's an undying urge. A real ants in their pants urge. To stand up and fight for this. What's getting in the way are what these cards are read with. Okay, on this front here, the ego is getting in the way. Everything I've already told you, I'm not going to repeat myself. I'm afraid that they're going to look weak. Okay, God forbid the King of Wands looks. So they want to do it their way, the Burger King. Have it their way. Okay. But this Five of Pentacles, this energy of winter, hmm, is read with the uh, King of Pentacles. Now, this, there's several energies here. I'm going to give you the top three. One, they may have suffered a loss in their financial status. They may not be doing well anymore. And they see you as above them. And that, that hurts the ego here. Like I said, it reminds me of somebody who was once famous or popular, but isn't famous and popular anymore. The money's running out. <laughs> you know. That being said, that kind of thing. So they puff up and pretend that the money's not running out. That's one energy. The second energy here with this is they view this uh, King, of, King of Pentacles energy uh, as the energy around them. They fear they're going to lose this if they come towards you. Their security blanket, if you will. Might, might be family. Might be, I don't know. Might, it could be anything. It could be a cultural problem between you two, a difference in cultures. I don't know. The third energy that's here is they feel that you're better than them. They feel out in the cold on you and they know if they don't say something, they're going to stay out in the cold, yet they keep themselves out in the cold. It's a feedback loop right here because of this card. It's a feedback loop. If this card were missing, if we got a better card or if I had a King of Wands reversed, we'd have a different story here. So that's what the universe wants to say. It wants you to know that this person respects and loves you. They do. They, they are following along. If there's a storyline in your life to follow, they are following along somehow, some way. They are spying, possibly. They're always thinking about you, dreaming about you, all of that. But there's an undying urge to come towards you, but there's a but attached to it. And that's kind of what you get here at Steve Love Tarot. Because a lot of readers would just stop there. Because they're going to get the ratings and all that kind of shit and just tell you the person. By the cards, they're coming towards you. Okay, they can't possibly deny it, but they can because there's a lot of fear here rooted in fear. The whole connection is, is fear on your side. You're afraid they maybe they won't come towards you or if they do, they're going to be an asshole again and it's going to start all over. They're going to hurt you. All that kind of thing on their side. They're afraid for all the reasons I've said. Now, our final outcome is the hermit. This is actually encouraging as a card falling here. It doesn't mean communication it does not. However, the result of it could. So let's find out. Because it's all coming up from the depths. If they choose not to deal with it, which the King of Wands appears to be, just ignoring it, pushing it back, yes, that's, that's going to be painful. That Three of Swords that was crossing here is going to amplify. Mm. Let's see here. The Hermit. Tell me about the Hermit. What's the final final on this universe? Tell me about this Hermit energy. I think it's a good card to have here. I think this person needs this. It's a, it's a second card of Dark Knight of the Soul. Except with the Hangman, the universe puts us in the Hangman. This here, we put ourselves in this. This is some, some realizations. This is where our, all those Ace of Swords we've seen. These two King of Swords holding the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords crossing here. The Ace, Ace of Swords crossing here. This is where all of that truth sort of hits them hard. It's part of that Saturn Retro energy that I'm including in this reading. Because I said all affecting energies. What's on top? Oh, you know what? What's crossing it first? How about that? Our lead-in cards are the message from the universe. Our affecting energy around them is the Seven of Wands. That's encouraging. Because I've got someone who is, while they're fighting this, they're defensive towards what's coming up from the surface. Okay? They are. They're trying to push this back. These two cards together say the same thing that the universe just said to us in the final outcome. Now, let's pull some action cards. That's the environment where, that they're living in. 
and the final outcome, potential final outcome. Let's see what's on top. Queen of Cups. Mm. Yeah. I would love to say something cheesy like love wins the day. I already said that earlier about the page of cups, I think. Uh, I should have. I said, what did I say when I pulled that page of cups after the cut? I said I felt queen of cups, didn't I? Mm-hmm. Right there. There she is in the final outcome. There's a lot of love here. But what this person's going to realize as this energy comes up, they can be as defensive to it as they want. As this energy comes up from the depths, and this light gets brighter and brighter. What this person's going to realize is they've got nobody to give love to. Yet they feel a lot of love. This connection's opening up this person again. This person is fighting hard with the Three of Swords here and these Pentacle cards here. They're fighting hard to shut it down. And the moon, they want to push it back. They're fighting hard to do that with the Seven of Wands here and here. They're fighting hard to push it back. But at the end of the day, this is the most love I can pull from the deck. Love does win the day. And this card is red with this King of Swords here, which is fuel this King of Swords. So it's like a double King of Swords. I think they take some action. I think once the love wells up in them and they realize that how sad they are, that they're not, they, they've got all this love to give, you know, and they're trying to shut back down, but they can't. I think they, I think they do something. Well, <laughs> sure enough, I'm right. It's the Knight of Wands. And I'll tell you what, the Knight of Wands wanted to come out with the Nine of Swords. Those two wanted to come out together. They were stuck. Yeah, hey, this is just a reminder to you. It's very similar. Wasn't this where we ended the Saturn retrograde reading from yesterday? I think it ended on a Knight of Wands, didn't it? I don't know. I could be wrong. I might be thinking of another reading. Doesn't matter. This is your reading. So who cares? Um, it, everything I told you about this, I've got all this love to give that I can't shut back down. And they can't give it to what they've got on their side because they don't love that anymore. It doesn't represent, all they have on their side represents pentacles, how they've been living. And pentacles don't hold water. I never once in my life said, I'm going to go to the kitchen and get me a pentacle of water. I never once have said that. I doubt you have either because pentacles don't hold water. It just flows right through. All right. This is, uh, there's a lot of passion here. This is charging with all this love to give. Why the Queen of Cups is here is exactly what I said. I think love wins the day. It's a brave, impulsive action. They come towards you. The Knight of Wands is red with the Three of Cups. Someone charging forward. Someone charging in. But they're worried as fuck while they're doing it. The Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords is also telling us here that this Knight of Wands just charging in doesn't happen until this person finishes all this nonsense they're telling themselves. What we need is for the energy of the Hermit to keep welling up. To keep coming up. Just like I told you in the Saturn reading. Keep coming up. And as it does, they, they are, their ability to shut down emotionally goes away. They can't do it. All they can feel is love. And that, they reach a snapping point And they come in. Until then, they keep making up excuses and telling themselves, you know, they're not. Or they come in on their terms. They come in as the Burger King. Right? Uh, they gotta have it their way. A little, I'm, I'm going in to talk to cancer, but I'm going my way. I'm going the way I want to go. And that right here, this that makes this energy, this Nine of Swords, an energy of in and out. All right, which that, that conversation may or may not go well. It depends because the Knight of Wands can get out as fast as they come in. I don't like someone coming in under the Knight of Wands all the time. I sure don't like it with a Nine of Swords attached to it because that's all that they're worried about all kinds of things. It's almost like if this person shows up in this energy, they're feeling all this love, they're trying to shut down, but they don't understand the love, they don't get it. You might just want to open the conversation with, look, I know that you're scared about this connection, but let me just put your mind at ease. And then go from there and try to put their mind at ease when you talk to them, rather than confronting them with all the shit you're pissed at them about. I think they, and that was advice from the Saturn Retro reading as well. Let's see what else the universe wants to tell you before I go pull some wicked voodoo. Because there is a third energy here. So for those of you where your person is married, in a relationship, controlled by a family, there's something coming between you. Doesn't matter what it is. It could be a toaster or a dog. It doesn't matter. Whatever. There's something coming between you. We need to pull on that. Because that's, that's the linchpin. They don't love that. They love you. And that's what's coming up. And love is the most powerful force in the universe. Love is what the soul is made of. And right now their soul is hurting because they keep pushing back a lot of stuff. I think you're, of all the signs, you're one of the signs that I always say 
If your person's married or in a relationship, that person hurt your person bad. And instead of taking it out and dealing with it, they pushed it back and came up with a cover story to cover it up. That's not going to last in this energy. Once you've had soul recognition with somebody, the wick is lit. Okay? It's not going to hold water. Mm, those pentacles don't hold water. Mm. Okay. Let's pull three cards and a, and a crossing card see what the universe has to say. So yeah, once this wells up, they do reach out. I said, I said at the beginning of this reading, I think they crack. I do. Let's see what the universe wants to tell you before we go. Look at that. Queen of Swords, we always pull from the bottom. Queen of Swords, Sun, Justice, Lovers crossing the Sun. Mm. Love wins the day. They know what they need. I'm just going to paraphrase these cards. These are red, center, left, right. You make them very happy. The energy for your connection is open. There's some sort of energetic traffic cop here who doesn't know how to do their job getting in the way and not letting anyone go. You know, you hey fool, you let one go and then you stop them and then you let another one go. That way the energy flows. We got some idiot traffic cop here in the middle. First day on the job, right? Normally just makes copies at the cop office. Going outside here, stopping everybody. Nope, everybody stop. He's just spinning around in circle with his hands up. And they know what they want to do. The energy is there for this connection to come together. The love geese are in the air. This person, so this, this is telling me the lovers crossing the sun is telling me that this is happening. This is happening right now. All this stuff is coming up from the depths. All this stuff for them to look at. The queen of swords, the queen of swords, the queen of truth. She's holding Archangel. There's Archangel Michael, sword of truth again. The thing with the Queen of Swords, like I always say, is you can't unknow it. They can't unfeel it. They can't. This backs up the energy of what I told you, where they can't shut down. They're trying to do what they always do. The King of Wands, puff up, shut down, pretend you don't matter, just like they do with a lot of other people who have crossed their path. They can't do it with you. The love is there. It's there. The water is coming in on this card here, and there's nobody on their side to give the love to. You make them very happy. I got two cards of happiness here and they know it. I got the happiest card in the deck and I got balanced energy, which to you in the 3D is happiness. Plus, I've got the universe has opened, we'll call it the portal. The portal of your connection, it's wide open. The volume is up. It's cranked. All right? It's cranked. This also tells me on another layer of energy that it's, it's a little bit of love wins the day. It's a little bit of with, with the Queen of Swords and Justice, which are red together. These are red center, left, right. So these two are red together. Um, with this energy here, it tells me that, that, again, once the love wells up, I think there could be, if your person's married, a little bit of a divorce or some kind of separation that happens. And within that separation period, within that moment where they're feeling the love and they know they can't give it to what's on their side because what's on their side is superficial and fluffy and just deals with pentacles in that moment that's when they come charging in to talk to you very worried about it because if you reject them they'll probably just go back to whatever they had because it represents security for them and they'll have to live in pain and push this back that's not your problem that's their problem they caused this they were supposed to be at your house at 2 p.m. They showed up at 10, if they show up at all. They got a lot of explaining to do. Just for fun, there's that 10 of Pentacles. I remember I read way back when. I didn't know that was there. Remember I read way back when. I read that 5 of Pentacles in the pre-shuffle as a 10 of Pentacles. I said, it feels like 15 Pentacles here. There's the 10 of Pentacles. They, again, it's there. You're the real deal. They know they can have long term with you. They don't want to appear weak. That's the main reason you two aren't feeling each other up on a couch right now is because this person doesn't want to appear weak. And it doesn't matter. Don't come at me with, well, I could reach out to them then. No. No. Because then you're just, I mean, you can. You sure, go ahead. I don't care. You do what you want to do. You're grown up. But if you do that, it's, they're, they're still going to overcompensate. They're going to puff up like this cobra with their ego so that they don't appear weak. What, they, what we need to get them to is the point where it doesn't matter whether they feel weak or not. Someone who is okay being vulnerable, who knows that I have to give this love and I want to give it. If they can't do that, you don't want them anyway. All right, That's your reading. And I'm going to pull some wicked voodoo on their side. I'm going to see how they really feel about it. I'm going to see what's happening here with this Queen of Cups. I'm going to pull on the moon like a motherfucker because I think there's a devil energy here and I think there's a tower energy somewhere in here. I'm going to see if I can find them. We'll see. All right. 
That being said, if you want the extended, the link is in the description. I want it. I want to know what's going on here. It's crazy. Only thing stopping them is they don't want to appear weak coming in because a lot of time has passed and I'm going to have to explain and, and I, you know all kinds of scenarios about how they said their marriage was good or they said this was good or their life was good. Ah, every reason they gave not to get together with you was bullshit as we already learned from the pre-shuffle. I hope this reading was helpful. If I help one person today with this, I've done my job, karmically speaking. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. All right. I'm going to go pull the extended now because I need to dig into the moon. I need to dig into what the universe is trying to tell us. I might dig into the queen, uh, the, the, the queen, yeah, <laughs> the Freudian slip there, the uh, king of wands. Because you know what's interesting? Well, it's interesting to me because uh, I know this shit. My superpower is spotting patterns. And what's interesting here is we had the uh, Archangel Michael's Sword of Truth a lot here. The Ace of Swords, right? We have, we have the Ace of Swords crossing here, the King of Wands. We have it crossing the King of Wands here. And we also have two King of Swords here, which are both holding the Ace of Swords. And we have the Queen of Swords, which is holding the Ace of Swords, Archangel Michael's Sword of Truth. What, what I don't have, I have a King of Wands in a couple of places. I don't have Fakie McFakerman, the Queen of Wands. That's the, that's the cover story one. That's the energy of the cover story. That tells me that that validates this Queen of Cups. Because that tells me that this person, again, it, it validates what I've been saying. That they know. They're not even lying to themselves anymore. This person at this point is just worried that they're going to look weak when they come in. They're trying to figure out a way not to. That's what the Seven of Cups was before the cut. Why the fuck are we here? They're just trying to figure out a way. But the problem is, while they're trying to figure it out, they're also bullshitting themselves. And it's getting worse and worse and worse because it's getting later and later and later. And more and more explaining to do, the later it gets. And the weaker they get because of that. And they don't want to be weak. Mm, it's going to be a fun extended. The gold Dr. Phil on their ass. And we'll see what's going on on their side, too. That's your reading. Good luck.